right now, producers are mostly concerned about the supplemental coverage option, which is the new crop insurance program that was authorized in the 2014 Farm Bill. Information for winter wheat for SCO, or the supplemental coverage option, was released a few weeks ago. The deadline to sign up for SCO for winter wheat for 2015 is September 30th. So it's the same deadline that producers would have to purchase crop insurance for their 2015 winter wheat crop, regular crop insurance. Now, a lot of questions have been asked about SCO, you know, what is it, how does it work? It's a supplemental product that is basically an endorsement to a regular insurance policy, so revenue protection or yield protection. So when a producer goes in to sign up for their regular insurance policy, they can let their crop insurance agent know that they want to get SCO on top of it. The way it works is, again, they would buy two policies. So let's just say, for example, they have a 70% revenue protection policy. They can get SCO coverage up to 86%. So SCO coverage would be 86 minus 70. If they had a 75% policy, it would be 86 minus 75%. So a slightly lower coverage band, the premium would be a little bit lower. The premiums for SCO are going to be a lot lower than the premiums for traditional crop insurance products. Now, there's a few very important details that producers need to know about SCO and how SCO is combined with commodity programs in the 2014 Farm Bill. Producers who enroll in the ARC, the Ag Risk Coverage Program, on a spe specific crop and farm number cannot enroll that crop in SCO. However, if they enroll in PLC, the Price Loss Coverage Program, they can enroll that crop in SCO. But sign up for 2014 ARC and PLC has not happened yet. FSA has not released the final rules and regulations. It's anticipated that sign up for those programs would happen later this year, early next year. Okay, so producers need to sign up though in SCO by September 30th for the 2015 crop year. So they have an option for this year only for winter wheat. If they enroll in SCO in September, but then decide later on in the year that they want to enroll that crop in ARC, they can withdraw from SCO and not have to pay a penalty, not have to pay the premium. So if a producer is somewhat interested, thinks that they may possibly want SCO, they need to sign up by the September 30th deadline. Then they just need to remember later on in the year, if they change their mind, decide that they want to be in ARC, they would need to call their crop insurance agent and withdraw from SCO. Recently, USDA announced uh, counties that were available for CRP Conservation Reserve Program emergency haying and grazing. There are 25 Oklahoma counties that are part of this. What it means is uh, producers can hay the land until August 31st. One cutting, the hay cannot be sold. Producers can graze the land until September 30th. So we're coming up on those deadlines, but if uh, producers are interested in CRP emergency grazing, they need to contact their local FSA agent before doing so. Another program that was authorized in the 2014 Farm Bill are cotton transition assistance payments. Those are payments that are similar to direct payments in the last Farm Bill and are only available to cotton producers with cotton base acres for the 2014 crop year, possibly the 2015. Enrollment for the Cotton Transition Assistance Program began in August and goes through October 7th. So producers with cotton base acres need to go into their FSA office and enroll for the Cotton Transition Assistance Program.